Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this evening. I hope that you're doing really great and we will be looking at all that is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas and I also want to take you guys to something important when it comes on to development maybe as we're going to be heading into the end of this week going into next week. There is increasing confidence about that actually taking place so I will be taking you guys through everything and before I go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, so let us go ahead and return to the satellite imagery. Here we can see that there is a lot going on over in the Western Atlantic that includes the Caribbean, the Gulf, and in the vicinity of the Bahamas. And also out in the main development region, there is some more activity, some more convection out there. And uh, there's a lot of moisture coming off from North Central Africa into the Atlantic. And so that is going to be a huge help for those tropical waves that we'll be trying to develop. So as we look at the current Saharan earlier map, we can see here that it is very dense, very dense dry air is out there right now. And that has been the reason we haven't seen much, but now there is going to be a reduction uh, a reduction in all this dry air across the main development region, which will favor more development. And even as we look at the visible satellite imagery, we can see that brownish hue in some of those first frames. It's getting darker because the nighttime hours are approaching. So lots of dry air out there and it is going to gradually subside as that moisture sets in creating a more conducive environment and we'll be going on to the latest that NHC has for the areas highlighted very shortly but now we want to look at what is happening across uh, the Caribbean and surrounding areas so we're starting out with northern South America and here we can see that there is a thunderstorm development across some parts of Venezuela Colombia also going into uh, the Guyanas there is some activity across some spots for most of the Lesser Antilles, we're not seeing where much is happening. Similar story for the ABC Islands, a bit of outflow from all that convection, but nothing crazy in the region. And there is some uh, activity to the north of French Guiana out there. And uh, let's move further up north into the region. And here we can see that a lot is going on over in the Western Caribbean. So there is still that upper level low there. So that has been helping to induce so much showers and thunderstorms. For most of Jamaica, it has been a pretty gloomy day over for many of us even some thunderstorms and heavy rainfall at times for some spots let me know what happened for your area and uh go into the cayman islands maybe some occasional clouds and showers and across some parts of cuba there is that thunderstorm activity developing but we see most of that down in the southwestern caribbean go into the caribbean coast of nicaragua spreading inland also for honduras and even over into parts of mexico belize and guatemala there is some activity as well but but as we look to the east, it gets pretty dry. So as we saw on the map, there is some of that dry air extending into the Caribbean. So that's kind of stabilizing conditions, preventing any major rainfall activity from developing. Up into the Bahamas, there's still that trough there helping to bring some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Now let's go on to the latest for these areas. And as we can see, there are no X's there to show the location of the low pressure areas. And that is because they have not yet developed. But as we head into later this week, they should. And as of right now, that first one a bit closer to the Caribbean, given a 20% chance of development. Meanwhile, the one closer to the coast of Africa, given a 30% chance of seeing some development within this area during the next seven days. So an interesting week is up ahead as we head to later this week. Uh, once that low pressure area develops and once conditions are conducive enough, then the chance will continue to increase and eventually we could have something. So the next couple of names on the list for the hurricane season are Emily, Franklin, and Gert. So those are the next three names to be used for this hurricane season. And there is a chance that we could have all three being used before the end of August. So models have been hinting at seeing multiple systems before the month comes to a close. That is not at all guaranteed. However, I really think that we will have at least one storm developing out there. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what the ensemble members have to show for both GFS and Euro. We're going on to uh, Euro first and this goes out to the next five days. And here we can see that between now and Saturday, the end of this week, 
And there we can see some pretty decent support for uh, development of a tropical wave continuing westward, uh, potentially headed toward the Caribbean and also that next disturbance, which ha uh, is highlighted that next area closer to Africa. And then as we head to next Tuesday, the 22nd of the month, here we can see models expecting that we might have something making its way into the Caribbean before taking on a northwestward track. And look at the Gulf of Mexico. We're starting to see some pretty good support support of a tropical storm maybe developing over there. GFS has been going crazy on that. We'll be looking at that soon. And then uh, there we have that next system expected to be moving out. Not a problem for anyone, but a new cluster of members, another tropical wave emerging that could try to get itself together under the favorable conditions. Going on to GFS now, going out to Tuesday as well, we can see here that there isn't as much support on the ensemble map here for a Gulf system as we head into next week, but it is showing it later down on the model run which we'll be looking at as i said we'll be going on to that very shortly but there we see that not a whole lot of members expecting something in the caribbean at this time either but definitely showing development out there in the open waters of the atlantic a system not being a threat or a problem to uh, any land areas now we want to go on to the model run the 12z run for gfs and we're starting out at the 23rd of the month so going to the middle of next week and here we can see lots of moisture across the caribbean but we're not seeing anything defined at this point as we head to next weekend saturday the 26th gfs is expecting a low pressure area to develop in the northwestern caribbean we see a pressure of 998 millibars maybe a tropical storm and then as we head into monday of the following week head into the last few days of august the model has it that hey we're gonna be seeing a hurricane in the gulf by this time and then it shows even more intensification. There we see those black circular lines. They're called isobars. They're getting tightly packed, very indicative of strengthening. And we see a pressure of 957 millibars. Potential cat four here that GFS is expecting. Uh, as I said before, it is not impossible and will all be dependent on whether conditions are favorable or not. And we are just too far out to tell what is going to be happening. So nothing is guaranteed as of right now accuracy tends to decrease as we head further out in time so uh, in future runs we could even see the model no longer expecting anything at all and then it suddenly comes back on uh, expecting that hey we could see a major hurricane so overall the probability of seeing something in the Gulf is going to be increasing as we even look at what Euro has to show let's go on to it this goes to next Tuesday there we see the model showing quite a bit of moisture increase in the Gulf not seeing anything defined similar story across the Caribbean and then as we head to Thursday, we still don't see anything with all that moisture moving into Texas and parts of Mexico as well. The Canadian model is also sniffing at something heading to next Tuesday for it. We can see that it is showing that, hey, we will be having a tropical storm develop headed toward the Gulf Coast. Another system out there, potentially a hurricane and uh, something else making its way off the coast of Africa. The ICON model is also hinting at Gulf development. So here we see this consistency. All these models models are expecting that we could have something in the Gulf. So uh, if you're along the Gulf Coast, as I said, it is good to keep an eye out there, but nothing is solid. But we could see something over there for sure and uh, also the caribbean should be keeping an eye out as we saw with the euro ensembles there is some increase in confidence about something actually affecting the basin as we head into next week the end of this week going into next week and even here on the icon map we can see that uh, the model is different at multiple systems out there in the main development region but of course guys i'm here to keep you posted so that you're never caught off guard and that is what I wanted to share with you in this update and I hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments I will respond once I get the chance and as always remember to be otherwise